Well, 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 here we are. We finally made it to the IFL season. That's right, indoor football. The indoor football league is back, baby. It has been far too long. Now, if you are watching, you will see me in the chats this year like I was in 2019 and the two games in 2020, of course. Um, but 2019 came back in full force to indoor football. That's when I came back. Um, it had been a while. That, that That's really just my story of how I got back into it. I did join a Discord with, every, with a bunch of guys who... You know, our big indoor football fans and just general football fans in general. You know, good people in general. And they know me. You know, obviously not very well. You know, I'm still trying. I'm still trying to get used to Discord myself and stuff like that. But they know football. They know indoor football. We, I know indoor football. We know. We know. But that's really just a story for another day and everything like that. Of course, I've talked to players and comments and stuff like that throughout. The off season and of course 2020 and maybe I don't remember if 2019, you know, if anything like that happened as well. But I know I've talked to some players, I've talked to some guys who are potentially affiliated with teams and stuff like that. Um, I am not a again. I am not a reporter or anything like that. I just see information and I react to the information. I just see information. I react to it. Boom, there you go. Video done. <laughs> um, but we have two games this week, and one of them will be the Green Bay Blizzard, baby. The Green Bay Blizzard. And the Bismarck Bucks. Now, the Bismarck Bucks have brought a lot of guys back from 2019. They did not have a good 2019. They had a, good, they had a couple of big victories, you know, towards like the end of the season like that, because they were losing you know they were they were taking L's left and right, and then they finally started getting it together. Finally got a couple wins in, and there you go. You know Bismarck definitely got a lot of guys back. I don't know about Green Bay right now, but that's going to be Friday night. Um, I believe it's seven o'clock. You know, so that's going to be very fun, very fun game there. You know, like. These two teams, they, I believe they played a couple of games in 2019. I'm not sure. I don't remember exactly off the top of my head. And on Saturday, yes, sir, the Louisville Extreme with the Baltimore Brigades field. That's right, the Baltimore Brigade. Brigade. Damn, I almost, almost said, said it wrong like three straight times. But yes, the Baltimore Brigade, their field is now belongs to Louisville. They have some nice uniforms. They've been signing guys. And of course the Massachusetts Pirates, they are debuting in the IFL as well. Of course we all know the story of how these two teams, you know, left the NAL. Massachusetts was like, we're done with this, you know, fake nonsense that y'all keep doing. And you see what has happened to the NAL since then. And Louisville I can't remember. They got rejected or something like that. You know, you know they they had their they had the withdrawal of the NAL and they were like, no, we we can't deal with this either. It's basically we can't deal with the NAL's antics. So we're going to the best league. We're going to the top league. I mean, this is good discussion. Um, Louisville is a bit more of a weird case. Um, You know, again, this is this is going to be a very interesting game. A lot of the guys are saying, "Hey, this is the game to watch on Saturday." This will be Saturday, I believe, at six o'clock Central Time. I'm a Central Time guy, and IFL does their games at Central Time, so we're going to go with Central Time. Um, so there is just going to be a lot. Um, I've already made a comment in the chat on both games, and again, this is going to be very interesting. I'm not too familiar with a lot of players right now, and I'm not sure who Louisville signed. You know, I I, I know that, I know there's some big guys. I know there's some big guys, but they aren't playing yet. They aren't playing yet. But um, I might have to go to like you know, I have to go like to their team websites or something like that to you know get things going. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> but I will see you guys on Friday and Saturday night. 
you know, in the game chats. I will be with you, and we're going to have some fun with this. We are going to have so much fun with this. This is going to be one hell of a season, and I believe the season might end in September, and, you know, when the, by the time the NFL starts. So I don't know how that's going to play out for me personally, but I do know these two games this week are going to be fun as hell. And, you know, come along with me for the journey. Come in, the, come in the game chats and stuff like that with me, you know, if you want to. And, you know, just let's just have some fun this year. I mean, 2019 was an experience coming back. 2020, we didn't get to, you know, really celebrate full force. I wanted my Frisco Fighters to debut last year, but we all know what happened last year with Corona Chan. And now we can enjoy the season as it is and I'm finally ready I'm finally invested you know in in the landscape of you know indoor football again because CIF really isn't interesting to me it, it just hasn't been very interesting those past couple weeks you know I've just kind of tuned out but these two games again I'm gonna have so much fun I'm gonna have so much fun we're all gonna have so much fun let's hope the season goes well everybody and Long live indoor football. Long live the game of indoor football. I'll see you Friday.